in four days, I noticed one of my teeth were already straight. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Viv and today I will be talking about my two week update with braces. Before we get into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right guys, so I'm super excited to say that after four days, I already noticed a huge difference with one of my teeth. I haven't noticed too much of a difference with my other teeth, but this one tooth is literally straight already. So let me show you guys a close up. This tooth, the wire used to go up and back down and now the wire is straight if you can tell. I'll place a picture here for you guys to see the difference but it is insane. In four days I noticed it was already straight. So with this tooth on the first couple days I noticed that flossing in between the spaces by this tooth hurt worse than the other teeth did and now like every couple days you'll notice like a different tooth will be really sensitive when you try to floss like it literally hurts so freaking bad to floss in between the spaces on a certain tooth and I think it's because on that day that tooth is shifting so anyway super exciting I do just have one little concern and I think that a lot of people have this concern I am really worried because I don't know if you can tell it looks like I have a piece of pepper in my teeth because there is a space now in between those teeth since they were so crooked the gum was used to only coming down a certain way and now that there's a space there the gum isn't getting in between and it's creating this little triangle that looks like a little piece of pepper like I have food in my teeth and I don't and I'm scared that I'm going to get them on all of my teeth so that is a concern of mine but I have heard that that only happens in the beginning when they're shifting and then your gum if you have healthy gums and you make sure you maintain your cleaning routine the gum will come all the way down and fill in that space so I really hope that it does because right now there's a little space there and it does concern me so I hope that goes away I don't know if you guys can see it so this tooth is the main tooth that I'm concerned about that I really want to move. It's not even sore. Like all my other teeth are sore. This one's not sore at all. So I'm like wondering, is it even moving? <laughs> oh, because some people have canines that are connected to like their skull or whatever. So the tooth doesn't move. Like all the other teeth shift up to that tooth and that one never moves. And people have to get like surgery for it. So I'm really hoping that's not the case with my canine. I haven't seen any difference in it at all or any difference in any other teeth. But I just noticed that one. So that is super exciting. I mean, it's only been two weeks and there's already a difference. That's awesome. So I am still in pain depending on what I do. So chewing still hurts. So I'm still on soft foods after two weeks. Um, I did eat Takis. Okay, so I did eat Takis twice, which I shouldn't have done. They were little tiny mini bags, like there was a couple in there. And I chewed them with my back four teeth because my back four teeth don't have braces on it. Like if you can see, the last bracket is on this tooth. So I have four teeth in the back that don't have braces. So those ones aren't really sore. So I can chew hard things all the way in the back, which I shouldn't be doing, but I did and I'm not going to do it again. But yeah, I'm still on soft foods. My rubber band has snapped twice when I was chewing, like I was eating and I opened my mouth a little bit too wide and it snapped. Like it kind of hurts, but it feels more of like a shock. Like you're shocked. What the, what heck, the heck just heck? happened? And yesterday I was eating one popped and my roommate got super scared. She's like, what was that? And I was like, is my band, I'm sorry. It's really loud, it's funny. Every single morning when I wake up, I feel pain just because my jaw clenches. So if you're someone who already clenches your jaw, you may have a little problem in the morning like I do. Um, my teeth just feel so sore because I clench my jaw down so hard. And also, like I said in my previous videos, these rubber bands are really, really strong. So they're like holding your jaw down even more at night. And so my teeth are just really freaking sore and my jaw is just sore in the morning that's something that I struggle with every single morning still I do have to say though the pain that I was in the first couple days was like so strong and I was taking ibuprofen and painkillers and stuff after about four days you don't really have to take painkillers like it's totally manageable and you'll just feel that like sharp pain in certain areas in certain flossing like I said so after about four days you should be fine I'm still getting annoying cuts on my mouth like on my um cheeks and everything on the inside from the wire in the back so I think that as your teeth straighten out the wire in the back comes out even more from the bracket like that's how it works um so they said that I need to cut the wire with a nail clipper so I think that wax is just going to be your best friend throughout your whole braces journey I don't really think it will get better like it's been two weeks and I still have cuts on my cheeks so I've been using wax like pretty much daily on the two top um brackets in the back so yeah because the wire in the back isn't long enough for me to cut it yet but it is long enough for it to cut my cheek if that makes sense so I'm kind of like just using wax all the time but like I said in the last video wax is your best friend anyone with braces literally knows that so just stock up on that I'm running out I need to go get some more I don't really know where I get more I don't know if I ask my orthodontist or not but yeah I don't know 
I'll figure it out. I really hope I'm not the only one with braces that does this. I try to eat everything in one go. So normally I have my oatmeal in the morning, then I brush my teeth, and then I have my lunch. I don't brush my teeth after lunch normally, and then I have my dinner and I brush my teeth before I go to bed. So that's my normal routine without braces. With braces though, you need to brush your teeth and floss them after every time you eat to make sure there's no gunk that then creates bacteria and eats away at your teeth and makes like cavities and nastiness. And then when you get your braces taken off, you have spots everywhere and you just don't want that. So you need to brush and floss every time after you eat. Now, I'm so lazy that I try to eat my oatmeal and then I wait like 10 minutes for it to settle or like more like 30 minutes and then I eat my lunch and like a little bit of ice cream which I shouldn't be eating because it's sweet again I know I'm slacking and then I'll brush my teeth and floss and then I won't eat again all the way till dinner and then I'll brush and floss again I cannot be the only one skipping meals here like or trying to just shove them all in one sitting I cannot be the only one I did not think I would be like this I thought I was gonna be super on top of everything but I'm totally not Here's a little fun fact, just like a little funny fact on the side. I realized I can't whistle anymore. Oh my God, oh my God. I've done it for the first time in two weeks. Guys, you just witnessed it, a breakthrough. Another thing, you guys see that cute candle um, in the back? Blowing it out is so hard. Like, I can't do it with my mouth unless I'm like, ah. we get to cough or scream at the candle to blow it out. Like, <sighs> that's not strong enough to blow out the candle. Like, how do I blow out a candle? You just go, ah. and it blows it out. <coughs> and then you can blow it out. If you do go out to eat with a friend or get a snack in public, do not forget your little cleaners to go in between your brackets and wire. And do not forget a bottle of water to just swish around. Like you have to freaking swish. You got to swish your life away to get all that crap out from under the brackets. I honestly don't think I swallow anything when I eat. It's just all stuck in between my braces and it's literally so gross. Like, ew. So a lot of you guys wanted a close-up of my braces. I got a ton of comments like that and DMs on Instagram. So I'm going to show you guys a close-up from this side to this side. I have rhodium braces, so keep that in mind. Also, I was supposed to get four extractions. I did not. I explained kind of why I didn't in my last video. So you can check that out. I'll link it down below. But here is the close-up. Let me get close and intimate with you guys. Oh, you can see my zit. Oh, no. Mm. So... I don't know how much of a close-up you guys want, but that's the top and the bottom. It goes around, around, okay, like that, ooh, 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 ooh. I look so funny, guys. This is a parody. This is a meme. But anyway, so that's what they look like. This wire came out of the bracket, so it's not straightening. That tooth is not sore at all because it's not moving at all because the wire popped out of the bracket when I was brushing. So in a month, when I go back to my next appointment, they're going to re-put it in there. What is this? Like, what is this? Up closes are not good, guys. What is all this stuff on my face? Like, ah! In the last video, I noticed I had, like, this one chin hair that was just, like, sticking out. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that close-up and this video. I feel like it was kind of scattered and all over the place, but if this didn't cover it, I have two videos on braces already. I'll link them down below so you can check them out. And I'll be posting weekly videos about my braces. So updates, how to clean will be in my next video, changing my wire, all these kind of braces updates. So if you're interested in that, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you guys are staying safe and thinking positive. If you are getting braces, I am so, so happy for you and I'm so excited for your journey. The comment sections on my videos have been super friendly and informative lately. So you guys can go ahead and leave a comment down below if you want to to chat it up with people about their braces journey or if you have any questions I can answer your questions down below also if you have any other questions that are a little bit more personal you can hit me up on social media on my Instagram I will link it down below so you can just DM me there if you have any questions alrighty guys thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to check out my eco-friendly clothing brand at ventossipearl.com I will link it down below I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video bye why am I always so awkward? Uh... Shh. <laughs>